Welcome back, welcome back. And today we have a guild war against Talentless. So might as well start with the stronghold, right? Okay, for the first team that Celilius is going to move, activate my Selene, which is going to attack into the ram with her S2 because she has um, highest attack, right? And then she's getting the turn afterwards, even when that ram gets vigor and defense buff. This three should be enough to finish her off. After that, my Emilia is moving, giving the turn to my strays. And well, yeah, my strays is going to kill that a Ravi then. And after that, everything is fine, right? And for the bottom team, well, Mediator is just going to get rid of these debuffs and maybe a stun if there is one. Then my Huayang, well, okay, I'm not going to show her, sorry. <laughs> my Huayang is going to move and kill that enemy Huayang. And, well, then my Yulha, she probably got a kick in. Because of POV, I assume she's not going to proc her passive, so it's fine. And yeah, then it's just going to kill that Belion as fast as possible, and after that everything is fine, right? So, let's just go. Give all that you have let's see, how much damage is my Celine going to do? Eleven thousand. There is a defense buff, oh, and there is shield, but that is not enough. Should I show you my secret right? It's not my fault because Celine is powerful. <laughs> Very nice. And now Stray is doing his S three, which is enough to kill that Ravi, right? Very nice. Very clean. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of sad that I haven't used Celine in such a long time despite her having good gear. And now I finally got to use her again. <laughs> it feels so good. <laughs> it's a glutton. I see. Anti-Yulha strat, I, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. Well, maybe with the glutton, is it enough to proc me to... No, it's not. <laughs> it feels bad. But yeah, that should be enough, right? To... Hmm... Yeah, I guess let's just play safe, I guess. Nice. You want me to give you a Do I want to use my S3 already? I guess. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot she, she ignores damage chair. Damn. That was sick. <laughs> Ooh, finally her passive procced. <laughs> you cannot change what is already decided. What is it? Another insect to squash. Well, kind of sad. Holy sack, I see, I see. I'll fight you. Uh, sure. Not even escort anymore. He is good. <laughs> yeah. That went so much more clean than I have expected. Even though I have expected it to be very clean, but it was even better. 
The thing is, <laughs> I even got the worst possible setup on that ram with the defense buff and shield, but it was easy. So yeah, <laughs> GG, let's go on to the next one, right? Okay, and now we're going to take a look at Alito. The first team, well, since VM Haze disappointed me last time, I go back to my good old A Ravi strat. The thing is, uh, Ran does whatever he does, rocks Kavazu, Kavazu gets his turn, kills Mercedes. Mercedes and Rumor are going to counter him, maybe, possibly. Um, and then the Rumor moves, attacks my uh, Krow, which might have a defense break or might not. Let's say he would have, would get killed. After that, my A Ravi moves, kills the Mercedes, revives my Krow, and then everything is fine, right? Okay, so that's my Kavazu. That's my Krow. My A Ravi is on my defense. <laughs> For the bottom team, yeah, um, very high res uh, Bastion of Hope Briar Witch. Basically, she's going to be the bait the entire time because she has the lowest tankiness. So everything is going to attack into her and then she just stays at one health with this girl, Shooting Star Katie's, giving her n a new turns of immortality. And then my shoe is, well, she does shoe stuff and probably deals with that entire enemy team, right? <laughs> so yeah, let's just go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's not Silver Ran. So it might literally be... Um, RNL, I guess. Well, it didn't proc. So I guess it doesn't really matter, right? And I didn't get a defense break on my... Crow. Not even magic for friends. <laughs> yeah. Beyond the abyss. Mercedes went before my okay. <laughs> nice. Step back. Anyways, let's just make sure to kill here, so I'm going to S3. Because I can pause with my um Crow anyway. If I n if I not miss, or maybe if even if I miss, oh wait, POV. Okay, POV and I didn't miss was enough to kill. If I would have missed on POV, I wouldn't have killed. I probably would have killed still if it wouldn't have been POV then. But yeah, very nice, very nice. And now the interesting part, right? <laughs> Even counter. But sadly no shoe counter. <laughs> shoe could literally one-shot Para like that. And I'm going to use it actually because when I use it before her even getting the immortality procced, she would save that passive. So like she would get three turns of immortality now and if she runs out of immortality she would still have one turn because her passive didn't proc. Which is even better when I outspeed the enemy who are then, right? And I got speed buff which is unfortunate but at the same time because I outsped I don't have to care about it at all. Very nice. Now Shu gets her Elbrus out, right? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> it's already working. This is going to hurt. Showtime. Uh Let's just as one here. Oh, even a dude's 
Perfect. <laughs> like that, the Feyre's gone. Basically the biggest threat, right? And the Hua is also gone. <laughs> GG. Can we defense break? Uh, well, no. I guess when we have the S2, just use it, right? I can't even burn here. Or why not? Yeah, that's that's good enough. Ooh! <laughs> and now we can use it again, right? Or we just kill. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, like I said. Um. I would probably have to get my SSA faster because, as you see, the uh, Bryceria would have run out of her um, immortality. So it could have been a little bit close. I might have lost her when um, I would have procced the immortality at the start because then I wouldn't have had my passive left. But since that wasn't the case right now, everything is fine, right? So. Yeah, maybe I just try to get my SSA faster. As you might have seen, even when I showed her, she had two non-reforged pieces. Boots on that as well. So she can still get probably like nine more speed. And then she has just some gear I had lying around, I guess. But yeah, GG. On to the next one, right? Okay, and now we're going to deal with Ella Giggles. The first team, the same as I just used. And the bottom team, well... My Ruel. <laughs> um, yeah, she's whatever. I gave my Crow POV. Just so if that is a very high damage Rimuru, I still live. Because I still don't have a Max Holy Sack. And that we don't have it in the next rotation. Still? Uh, yet? Whatever? It's so long. I don't know. <laughs> I, I finally want to max it. Uh, like, I mean, the, the powder rotation, but still, uh, it kind of sucks. Yeah, so basically I also made my Aravi Giga slow. The ideal basically is, um, even if that Ravi, let's say she would get resist, uh, she would resist the, um, like, CR down, right? And the Mercedes would move before, so that my Ravi wouldn't get the turn before my Crow. So Rimuru does S3, my Crow horses the Mercedes, and then my A Ravi gets the turn and kills the Mercedes, and after that, how lose, right? So let's just go. Okay. That is a much more healthy payer. Those seeking revenge must pay the price. Hi, but yet again we outsped. Surprise! Voila. And yet again we got a speed Ah uh, come on. Like last time I wanted to do the labyrinth strat. I think I had to reset four times, five times. Because I got all of these times speed buff back to back to back to back. The odds of that happening are so low and it still always happens. Speed debuff is like in in this case the worst kind of buff you can get. Like most of the time whenever you do something with SSA actually speed buff is the worst thing you can get. So it just sucks. <laughs> Right? It just sucks. Why is there no Elpis proc? I mean, okay, that's... Oh! See ya! And a pro... Oh! Oh my... <laughs> Very nice, Chu. Very nice. But yeah, um, like... 
The thing with speed debuff literally makes it so that Briar Witch gets her turn so fast that you might get unlucky. And with unlucky, like, yeah, I, you know, I mean, um... When she procked her passive, whatever I just said last battle. <laughs> Uh, well, I I don't want to attack here, right? I I guess it doesn't matter, but Surprise. then again, I I still don't want to attack, because I don't want to heal. I can burn again. Let's see. Come on. Uh, let's use the S3 then, I guess. It gives me my stack so that my next S2 is very powerful. And I get countered again. I can still endure. <laughs> and I have the chance to proc quote-unquote Elbrus. Which I didn't do a single time this fight. That kind of sucks. But yeah, as you see, I procced her passive again. And there's- oh my god, speed again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> but- <laughs> oh my god. Like, either you- I would need a burn, or I would need not to get the speed buff. Did I say debuff a second ago? Uh, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, because now the Mercedes is moving in between the Rimuru and my Crow, which would mean if I wouldn't have gotten my pushback and would have had my same as fast a Ravi. <laughs> oh my god. Um, my Ravi might have gotten the turn. And then I could have gotten countered here and probably would have died. But yeah. Now I horse here, then my a Ravi is going to get a turn, and kills that Mercedes for good. And then everything is fine. That S3 should definitely be enough. Very nice. Isn't the time to uh, he didn't proc the passive yet, so I guess I don't want to give him defense buff because I can still revive anyway. Anti, wait, no, okay, okay. <laughs> I just thought anti crit, but no, it, it wasn't the case. Okay, yeah, very nice. Yeah, so, how was your day? <laughs> Just kidding, BRB. Okay, well, that took a while. It actually took that long that my Ruel with her as one, I know she has a, a Celestine, but still healed my crowd to full HP, even healed herself up quite a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah. That's a GG. And hope you enjoyed it. And see ya.